Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you launch the Xbox app on your computer and if the Xbox app is not launching because it stays on the screen launching the Xbox app updating and if, and the update is stuck at 0%. So if this is what is happening, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to run gaming services repair tool. Now for this, you can in Google search, you can type in gaming services repair tool and then you can go to Microsoft website, the Xbox support website, go to the official website and then click on it. And then over here you will see on this page, you will see downloadable version. So click on downloadable version and scroll down and then you will see download the gaming services repair tool for PC. Click on it and then you run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, click on yes to allow and let the process complete. This process will take some time. Now, once done, it will close it or uh, let me run it once again. And click on yes to allow. And it will say install successfully or completed successfully once you see this. Now, you can try to launch Xbox app and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. Now, for this, copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. And then type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. And then click on Run as Administrator. So make sure that you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. Once this is done, this will uninstall gaming services. Now run the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. On the same window, you can paste the second command, hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store on your computer and then you will see the install button to install gaming services. Click on install, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once this is installed, now you can, you have to relaunch, launch the Xbox app once again. So you see update now because right now it's actually uh, installing gaming services over here. So that's why you see this. Once it is installed, uh, you can try to uh, let me close it and then relaunch Xbox app. And you, sh you should be able to open Xbox app. Still not working. The next step is to repair or reset Xbox app. Now to repair the Xbox app, you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox and then click on app settings. Scroll down, you will see the repair option. So hit repair over here. And once the repair is complete, you can relaunch Xbox app and then check if that does not work. You can even reset, reset. And once the reset is complete, now you can launch Xbox app once again. Now still not working. The next step is to update Xbox app from store library. So open Microsoft store and at the bottom left over here, you can see download option. So click on downloads not library you can go to downloads and if there is update option so if you don't see update you can just click on check for update click on check for update and then you will see update option update all so click on update all and then you can check in my case here you can see update option so i will just update it so if there is any update update it if if you don't see xbox app still click on check for update and then click on update all once this is done now you can try to launch xbox app next step is to uninstall and reinstall xbox app so you can type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app click on uninstall uninstall and once the uninstall is complete now you can open microsoft store on your computer and in in the search box you can type in xbox app over here and then go to xbox app and then you can install the xbox app from here you will see the install button so hit install and once the installation is complete you can try to launch it and then check still not working this time you can uninstall the xbox app once again make a right click uninstall uninstall now once the uninstall is complete copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser 
it will take you to xbox website microsoft website and then you will see download the app option click on download the app and then you can run the cxc file and over here put a check over here and then click on install and let the installation complete and once this is installed you can launch xbox app and then you can check click on let's go and here you can see it's installed it's launching the xbox app now it's still not working the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct in computer so open a windows settings go to time and language and then go to language and region over here make sure uh, sorry first of all go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on then set time automatically if this is off turn it on also uh, over here you can see sync now option so click on sync now if you receive any kind of error in red color just click on sync now multiple times and then go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here select the right country and then check next step is to clear store cache using ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset run command this will open microsoft store and then you can try to open xbox app and then check still not working the next step is to update windows 11 and i am showing for windows 11 so update your windows 11 so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update over here once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch xbox app and then check still not working uh, the next step is to install xbox identity provider now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description copy this link open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see download options so hit download and then click on download and it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and if it is not installed you will see install button so here you can see installed option it, it's in my case it is already installed so that's why it's grayed out and you see installed but if you see install option or get option install it and then you can try launching xbox app next step is to start all these services now for this you can type in services in windows search box and then click on services find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services at the very bottom here you can see four xbox services so make a double click on each xbox services set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted click on ok make a double click again set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted click on ok and again make a double click set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok and then you can launch xbox app and then check now the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell make sure that you run this as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit the enter key this process will take some time and during this process you will see errors in red color so if you see errors in red color i just ignore it let the process complete once this is complete you will see everything in red now you can close this and then launch xbox app now the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command so type in inet cpl.cpl click on it and then go to advanced tab over here scroll down and make sure use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1 1.3 all four are checked over here and then hit apply make sure that you hit apply click on ok and then you can check now still not working the last step is to update windows to the latest version using media creation tool so you can copy this link open this link in a browser it will take you to again microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool so you can click on download now 
and then you can run this exe file now once you run this exe file uh, you will once you launch it you will see this screen click on accept over here and once you click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next over here and then select iso file over here select iso file and then click on next and then you can set the location as a desktop and then you can click on save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done you have to click on finish now once you click on finish it will take some time for this screen to go away do not uh, do anything let it close automatically once closed now you can go to desktop make a double click on this iso file windows file make a double click once you make a double click you will see this setup file make a double click and then you can run this setup file and then click on yes to allow and then click on next over here and then click on accept this process will take some time now here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked make sure this is checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer now click on install this install process will take some time and once the installation is complete you can log into the computer and then you can open xbox app and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch xbox app successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel